Father John Po SDB, we are now in the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. At ang ganda po ng focus ng ating celebration ng- ngayon, we are now being asked to focus sa puso ni Jesus in the heart of Jesus because the heart of Jesus is asking us to imitate Him. What kind of a heart ang meron ng ating Diyos? Pinakita po sa ating gospel for today, taken from the gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verse 30 to 34. A compassionate heart of our Lord. Kasi nakita niyang pagod ang kanyang mga apostol. That's why He asked them to rest for a while. Kasi nakikita niya ang kanilang pangangailangan at nararamdaman niya that they really need rest. And He gave them rest. And as they were resting, nakita naman niya ang mga tao. And his heart was moved with pity because they are like sheep without a shepherd. Pero hindi po nagtapos doon ang kilos ng ating Panginoon. Nakita niya, naramdaman niya. Kung kaya kumilos siya, he started to teach them. He started to become a shepherd to them. At yun po ang ating focus. It is not enough for us to see. It's not enough for us to feel na sasabihin natin, kawawa naman, nakita ko ang kanyang kalagayan and I feel you. But the Lord is telling us, no, it does not end there. After feeling their need, anong gagawin mo? What will be your action? Kung kaya nga po sa ating first reading in the book of Jeremiah, Prophet Jeremiah, No, the, the, the Lord promised that I will be sending a shepherd to you pattern in the heart of the good shepherd. Yun po yung tawag sa ating lahat. Each and every one of us is ginagaya natin, sunusundan natin ang yapak ng ating Panginoon. And we are being called to imitate the heart of the good shepherd na hindi lang sapat na makita natin at damahin ang pangangailangan ng ating kapwa. The Lord is challenging us in this 16th Sunday in ordinary time after seeing and feeling the needs of your brothers and sisters what will be your action anong gagawin mo upang makadamay sa ating mga kapwa upang makatulong sa ating kapwa hindi na makailangan malaki ang iyong gagawin something great no even a simple prayer is good enough for that person or a simple presence pumunta ka doon and allow them to feel that they are not alone no, baka meron ka mga kaibigan kamag-anak o sariling pamilya that they need your presence and I think the Lord is telling you you see at naramdaman mo ang pangangailangan nila do something about it go to them and bring them what they need, your presence. So once again, my dear friends, the challenge of our celebration for today is very clear. It is not enough for us to see, to feel, but the Lord is asking us to act, to do something for our brothers and sisters. So once again, my dear friends, God bless us all.